Hello everyone, welcome back on Nest Mango channel. Guys, I'm Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. Friend, in today's tutorial, what we are going to learn, this is the second part of URP. If you have not watched my first part, that is the explain that what is the Unity Render Pipeline and what is the Unity Render Pipeline and how many rendered pipeline we have. So please watch this tutorial if you have not watched that how you can create a project by using the URP, Unity Render Pipeline let me start to the video if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel in this channel you will get uh, many variety of tutorials related to unity virtual reality uh, 2d game 3d games and i have done most of tutorial in hindi language but from uh, three to four months i have started my english tutorials so that will be not create problem if you are watching from any language so friend if you want to start your unity project in urp so first what you have to do is just go in unity hub in unity hub you have to click on the new click on the new there is you can see there are templates 2d 3d sdrp urp so you have to choose urp if you want to create the urp render pipeline and if you want to create a project by using the hdrp so you have to choose hdrp whatever version you want to use you can just choose from here so i am going to choose 20.3 then after i i am going to choose universal render pipeline and give the project name urp demo and create so after few seconds here we are we, there is a simple scene and here you can see universal render pipeline you can read about this 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 is basically a render pipeline template and it's just generating the global illumination okay and this is a simple scene you can see there is one scene that is a simple and here you will get the camera light direction and and here you can see post processing volume so basically in the urp post processing is different from standard pipeline and there is a few differences so when i will share the post processing in standard i will explain but currently you can see that in this example you can see directly there is a post processing volume so basically what happens is that post processing volume here you can see and here is a global and local global means it will be impact on all over your scene and if you are creating the local so you have to create the local or you can just change into the local but i will say that if you are using by default so it should be a global and you can define that how much weightage should be so if you are doing zero so there is a very less weightage and if you are doing one there is a lot weightage and here is tone mapping bloom vignette and if you want to add something any new so you can like add the chromic abbreviation on the basis of your requirement you can just make the changes okay so there are so many effect you can use from aid over light and let's suppose you don't want to use post processing in whole area so at that time you have to just off and basically here you can get volume and there is many volume there is one global volume means that will impact in your whole scene there is a box balloon means that will be apply on a particular area there is a sphere volume there is a compact convex mesh volume so let's suppose i'm clicking on the global volume so it will be uh, like the uh, show you earlier and if we are we are choosing the box volume so here you can see there is a one box and in that box whatever you will do whatever you will create so there will be a locally not in all scene but in that particular area so when you uh, change your camera from this area to this area so there will be a changes according to whatever you have set here so there is a box collider so that we can see where we are applying and here is volume so basically you have to create new profile and here will be box and after that you can add the effected like post processing bloom channel mixer chromic abrasion color adjustment color curves so basically not you have to use every time whenever you you are using the volume if uh, you are making for the mobile game mobile application or android and ios so you can use as uh, much you want but you it's also effect on your performance so you have to be careful that how is your game and for the oculus 
you should avoid the post processing but if you want to use so you can use a very little like color adjustment and color lookups color curves so you can use a very basic uh, post processing on your application so let me explain that there is one more difference in urp when you are creating the project in urp so you get a very different camera in urp here you can see there is a projection perspective uh, vertical fob physical camera and you here you are getting the post processing so if you are getting off it so you will not able to see the post processing effect but when you are getting on it so you will be able to see the post processing effect but currently we are not on any post processing let's suppose we have on the post processing so when we will on so we will able to see the post processing effect so if you want to see the post processing effect so it should be a compulsory to on the post processing okay and if you are getting any flickering in your scene so what you have to use anti aliasing so anti aliasing is what happens that it reduce the rendering of your sharp edges so for mobile application you have to use fxaa fast approximate anti aliasing and if you are making for the uh, uh, window application so you have to use smaa but now we are using fxaa okay so basically this is for the by default what you get and if you want to create a totally new scene so just you can go and here you can see test scene so this will be a very new scene so you can create according to yourself and you can delete the sample scene okay and if you want to perform any settings so you, what you can do is that you can go in the editor project setting and the graphics there you will get urp high quality universal render, render pipeline okay so uh, in the in the oculus if you are creating so you can't use the high quality you have to use the medium quality high quality will be a very high for oculus so if you are making for an android or ios application uh, phone so you can use the high quality okay so in the graphics you can change from you can from the graphics you can change here and if you want to change their settings so here you can see whatever we are choosing all the things is here low quality medium quality so here you can uh, customize so you, according to your need you, you can perform their settings so these are the settings you can play with according to your scene okay so that's it for how we can create the urp project and in next tutorial we are going to learn that if you have a project in a standard pipeline so how we are going to convert in urp okay if you want to ask any questions so just drop in the comment box and thanks for watching have a good day see you in next part bye bye take